good to be here. And yeah, uh, Glenda said before we started, it's a great time of the year. But I, do you know what? I think um, I just think any time's a good time to look after your health, isn't it? Do we need to wait for the weather to get better? Do we do we honestly need to wait for the new year to do a New Year's resolution? Do we need to wait? I know for the stars to align and for the for the you know everything to be in the right place because if you're going to wait for that you'll be waiting for a long 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 time so uh, if you're here tonight and you are so uh i want to say thank you for being here uh, i'm for those of you that have heard me speak before uh i'm in pretty in pretty passionate about this topic uh which i'm going to share with you tonight i've got over 30 well close to 35 years in the health and well-being space and yeah, I've spent a lot of many decades trying to convince people to look after themselves. And I sort of get, I'm sick of it, if I'm being perfectly honest. And hopefully you don't need to be convinced. Hopefully you're here because you're ready. Um, so yes, we're going to have some fun tonight. Uh, we're going to talk about Health Point program. That is a program that is uh, absolutely changing the lives of people who choose to apply it. And um, and I don't know about you guys, but for me, and I'm just talking for me, without my health, I, you know, my life is nothing. I, if I don't have, if I don't get up in the morning, if I don't have energy, if I don't look and feel great, if I don't, if I don't example what I want, then then my life is a little bit miserable. If I'm being perfectly honest, and I don't know about you, maybe you've experienced that that where life is a little bit miserable um, at times when you don't have energy or you're feeling a bit sluggish or you're overweight or you're sick or whatever. I think it's time. We are in control of this process right now. So if you're here and you're for the first time just exploring, welcome. If you're here for the second time having a look, welcome. If you've been here every month for the last five years, 10 years, and maybe you haven't yet, taken the plunge to really take control of your health and well-being, I just want to encourage you because there is no other time. Today is it. Today is the only time you're ever going to get. And and I just think it is good timing because, you know, one cycle of health point, which is six weeks plus a, a week of preparation, takes us to about a week before Christmas. Isn't that a beautiful? Wouldn't it be good to run into Christmas ready to, you know, indulge a bit and rest a bit and recover a little bit? So, yeah, that's what tonight's about. We're going to have some fun. We're going to share. I have got a very special guest here tonight who I will introduce very shortly. And this is someone who's fresh off her first cycle. I think it's your first cycle, Mish, isn't it? First cycle of Health Point. And you're going to be blown away by this lady. You're going to be blown away by the results that she's got uh, on this program. Uh, it is it is mind-blowing. And, you know, there's a range of possible results we can get. And if you've done Health Point or you've seen people on Health Point, you know that there is a variation. Well, you're about to meet someone who's got exceptional results in, in just a six-week period. And she's going to talk, talk a fair bit tonight about what she's done to pretty much transform herself and her life. And, and she's only just beginning now to really start to enjoy wonderful well-being. So I look forward to introducing you to Mish very, very shortly. So that's enough of the in introduction. Let's get into this, eh? Hey? Okay, so uh, tonight specifically is, I hope if you can't say that, please let me know. Uh, tonight specifically is about Health Point, which is a program that is owned exclusively by Network 21 uh, and utilises the incredible training and uh, and I'll touch on more about what Health Point is and in collaboration with the amazing Amway Corporation in terms of high class quality natural organic products. Uh, it's a, a, an incredible program. And and I guess, you know, I came across Health Point probably like most people did, like it's introduced to you. And and I've got over 30 years in health and well-being, as I mentioned. I was a personal trainer for 15 years and I've seen every program come and go. I've seen every weight loss, gimmicky, quick fix, shake and bake and weight loss fast program. And I'm incredibly sceptical when it comes to this kind of thing. So when Health Point came across from Path, uh, I was skeptical uh but then i thought well okay andrew let's before you um display that skepticism why don't you just research it and so i did and i have 
looked at this for well over 15 years and I've seen incredible results. And I want to just, I guess, start with a couple of examples. And I and I talk about if you've been, if you've heard me before, you know I talk about Paul. And the reason I talk about Paul is because not only did did he transform his life, but you're going to see two examples of people tonight, and Paul is one of them. I saw Paul on Sunday. Now, when Paul came to me and said, Andrew, I need help, it was probably six years ago, probably about 2017, I, I reckon. And Paul, as you can see from those photos, was well and truly overweight. I think he weighed about 100, 130, 125 kilos. He was on blood pressure medication, cholesterol medication. He was His doctor pretty much said you're on the verge of stroke if you don't create change in your life. You're not going to be around for too much longer. So Paul came to me and said, Andrew, I need your help. And and I sort of said to, to Paul, okay, well, why? You know, I mean, you've, I knew he tried before. Why? What's going to make the difference for you this time? And I'm going to play a um, I'm going to play a very short video shortly of Paul's response to that. This is after he'd got pretty incredible results. But just so you can see, <clears throat> six months later. In fact, less than six months later, as a result of Health Point and everything associated with Health Point, I'm going to go through everything. Paul went from 125 kilos to 90. Um, his doctor, who told him he'd be on blood pressure medication and cholesterol medication for the rest of his life, was taken off his meds. He's now he now got his life back. Well, he had his life back. That picture, why that's so significant? The meat on that spit is about the same as the weight he lost which oh, I know that's pretty mind blowing. But the thing that is why I keep talking about Paul even so long after he's got these results is I saw him last Sunday. I saw him on Sunday and he's still looking great, feeling he's still following the process. And I chatted to him. He said, he just said, yeah, I still, I follow the process. I still do it. That's how I live. And every now and then he, he throws in a protein day and, but he's following it. It's, it's created a life for him. And so when I asked him, and this is um, this is a uh, this is a, probably the in six months after he'd got results, and I asked him why. This is what he said. And so, what then? What what actually inspired you to come and say something to me? I think we saw with a sacker in the church was doing this uh, with Andrew, and I said, like I did, I didn't know what it was about. I didn't honestly know what it was. Didn't do any research. My children had been. <clears throat> on my back for probably 20 years. Got all his weight, Dad, you've got all his weight. We want you to be around. I've got three, I've got two grandchildren. But obviously I want to be around for. Couldn't do anything with them. Couldn't run after them. Couldn't chase them. Couldn't play cricket with them. Can't play soccer. Couldn't do any of that. And uh, uh, so I think that was in my mind. I wanted to spend time with them. I wanted to enjoy myself with them. We've got a fantastic relationship as a family. We're very close as a family. And uh, I'm just telling Andrew outside that um, we went for a walk uh, Montalbert North. There's a park at the back and there's some rocks down the back. And Oscar's seven. He said, come on, Granddad, you can do this now. So we walked down this little river across a, a little rockery place got a photograph of me of doing it and I actually looked at that photograph and I thought I can't believe I've done that you know again I wasn't out of puff I wasn't I was a bit unsteady on my neck on my feet I see things I could jump now and hop skip and dance and whatever but I mean we could do most of the things it was quite quite fascinating whereas before he would never have asked me he'd have gone down there with his dad also, and uh, I wouldn't have enjoyed that time and so things like that are very valuable. I mean, I'm, I can tell you my age, I suppose, but I'm 71. Wow. Yeah, so I want to spend 10 more years. I want to see great grandchildren. Yeah. So there's a couple of things there. And, and this is where, I, you know, we're right at the start of this session. And before I go any further, the question is why? You know, you, you saw when Paul spoke then how emotional he got when he spoke about his kids and his grandkids. And then to be able to do something that not only he never thought he could do, but his grandkids would never ask him because because they didn't think he could do it, you know, climb down the rocks and the creek and that kind of thing. So my question is, 
why would you why you 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 not me not not and 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 the way and the answer is not to lose weight that's not the goal and the answer is not to get off medication that's not the goal the answer is not even to have more energy that's not the why so i would just simply ask every single one sitting here that's watching this even if you're not even considering doing health point even if you're just here because you want to find out a bit about it why would you just commit to a six week six seven week process to improve your health because i don't care how healthy you might be we can be healthy i know look for a 59 year old you know i'm probably in the in that high percentage of fitness for my age but i can be healthier i know i can so the question is what is your why now there's someone here tonight and i want to say thank you to mish because she shared she's just finished her first cycle of health point on sunday just gone so it's only been four or five days she shared some photos with me and she said, Mish, I hope you don't mind me telling this, but you said you're a bit terrified when you sent those photos to me. But And I want to thank you for sharing these. But for, before I share the photos, on the 11th of September when uh, Mish weighed herself, she was 86.6 kilos. And on Monday morning this week, I don't know if you can see that, she was 66.8 kilos, which is which is almost 20 kilos. 20 kilos from 86.6 to 66.8 now we're going to we're going to dig into this a little bit because it's not about the weight loss but i want you just to see this and again thank you mish for sharing that i mean that's that's one cycle of health point i don't look it's it's mind-blowing for me and i, and I guess i'm just going to stop sharing for a sec because i want everyone to see mish because i can't look i'm not going to say and no one's going to promise you that you can lose 20 kilos in one cycle of health point. Okay, please. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for Michelle, because she applied herself, she obviously had a strong reason. She applied herself to this process. That's the result she was able to get. And, and I'm going to talk to her throughout this short session because she's going to touch on some incredibly important points uh, of things that she did that made such a big difference. And they're paradigm shifting things that you're about to hear from her but for, first mission i just want to say well done congrats it's amazing all i just want to ask you right now is why why did you want to do this what was the driving force for you to do it everyone this is mish hi okay. um, sorry the biggest thing for me was this was for me um i wasn't doing it for anyone else um i wasn't uh, i didn't have anyone else to do it for and i've um, had a long journey through trauma and uh, growing to learn to love myself and like myself again. And this was, and through that journey, I had tried to lose weight before, but I would lose, then put it on, lose, then put it on. Um, but I think for me, choosing me and choosing my own health uh, was overall my why. Okay, awesome. And so you'll you're going to see more of Mish tonight. But but again, what a wonderful thing to choose. She chose herself. I mean, how many people do things for other people and and put other people first? But Michelle chose to choose chose to choose <laughs> chose to choose herself first, which I think is awesome. So well done, Mish. We're going to um, yeah, it is very brave. Thanks, Ingrid. Incredibly brave. Okay, so let's go back and keep work, keep working through this. But I mean, oh, look. Those images, Mish, I mean, that, that's just that's just incredible and it's testament to this process. You, obviously, but also this process, this health point process. So what is health point? So if you're here for the first time, health point is a is a program owned by Network 21. I've mentioned that, but it's come out of decades and decades of research. So it's not just made up in someone's backyard there's there's science behind this results long lots and lots and lots of results because and here's the key to this it's about mindset it's not about a diet it's not about food it's not about exercise it's about everything but it's about mindset it's about learning how the mind and body works and how food interacts it's about the community and and i know for me she's a big one she's building her own community in wa and she's supporting a lot of uh women that have gone through trauma and abuse she's building it she understands the power of community it's definitely not a diet and and it's you're going to love when i talk to mish about this when we get to the part of this process just to prove that this is not a diet um because you're eating real food you're snacking regularly you're not there's no hungers or cravings 
And one of the key things, and I love about it, it's all about one of the, the foundation or the unit of life is a cell. And, and this every part of health point is about in strengthening and improving the health of the cell. Now, that's a cell. There's, there's about 37 trillion cells in your body, and they look like that. But for the sake of tonight, they look like that, okay? Because I like kindergarten-style pictures. That, that's easier for me to get my head around. I just want you to explain every cell in your body makes your body. Okay, that's you are the way you look, the things you do, the uh, the energy you have, the fat you burn, the the health you have or don't have is based on the the cell and the replication, the duplication of your cells. So would you agree then it's pretty important to look after them? So let's have a quick look at a cell. The nucleus is the blueprint or the brain of the cell, the DNA, which is sort of your predisposition to certain things. Okay, but. Long thought that DNA can't be changed. Wrong. DNA can be changed. Your DNA can be strengthened. Your longevity can be strengthened. You might have predisposition to certain diseases. Doesn't mean you're stuck. Doesn't mean that's going to happen to you. You can change your DNA through the environment, through mindset, through the people you associate with, with the food you eat, the water you drink, the air you breathe. It's incredible how you can your DNA can change just by you hanging around positive people. You don't have to do anything different. Just hang around positive people and your DNA will strengthen. Isn't that incredible? You've got the mitochondria, which is where the, that's like the, the fuel room, the engine room of the cell. That's where the chemical reactions take place. That's where fat is burned. That's where energy is produced. That's where our immune system is strengthened. And then you've got a cell membrane, which really protects the cell. But the cell membrane is so, so, so important, more important than most people think. Because it's 75% fat, the reason it's it's made of so high percentage of fat is because it's got to be soft enough to allow nutrients to that you consume through food to absorb across and nourish the cell. And it's got to be also soft enough to allow waste products to be eliminated. But it's also going to be then, on the other hand, be strong enough to protect the cell. So the food we eat, the fats we consume have such an important part in our cell because you might have a good mitochondria and your DNA is looking good. But if your cell membrane is compromised because you're eating too much processed food, which is the thing that will block and damage the cell membrane, too much too much of the wrong kind of fats, too much processed kind of stuff and, and too many carbohydrates, that, that will actually stop your cell membrane from allowing nutrients to come across, which means it doesn't matter how well you eat, doesn't matter if you're taking the best vitamins and minerals in the world. If they can't get across the cell membrane, you're going to be tired, you're going to be lethargic, you're going to crave, and it's going to compromise your health and well-being. So the key is looking after your cells. And every single part of this program, every part of this program is about cellular health. There's at least a week of preparation. I, it says three to seven days. Forget about the three. I put that in because apparently I've got to say three to seven days, seven days minimum. I would suggest preparation. We're going to talk about that in a sec. What? Well, how's that help yourself? Getting your head right, finding the right your, your, your tribe, starting to learn and prepare and get ready and get excited. Jumpstart days, you do three protein days to get your body burning fat, very important part of the process. Then we go into 25 days or the remainder of four weeks where you're now just starting to really build good habits around nutrition and the right foods and, and you're sort of controlling your carb intake by simply eating better choices. This is where the majority of weight loss will take place in the first four weeks if that's your goal. By the way, this is not a weight loss program, but if you've got weight to lose, it'll happen primarily in the first four weeks. Then the next 14 days really is just to stabilize and to, by gradually adding a little bit more food, what happens is you reset your, now you have a new metabolism, you have a new set point, which means you're not going to go back because your body wants to take you back to what is normal for it. This 14 days means that whatever the results you've got in those first four weeks, you stay there, which is pretty amazing. Then you can go on to maintenance or you can go back and you can do another cycle or as many cycles as you want. I know Mish has still got a little bit more weight to lose. She wants to get down to 60, so she's going to do another cycle starting in the next week or two, leading into uh, leading into Christmas. Um, just So she'll be at a desired weight by Christmas and, and because of doing two cycles, she'll lock it in and, and that's going to be pretty much where she is forever yay we want forever this is not just till christmas this is not just till your next holiday this is not till your next event so you can wear you know wear that sequin outfit 
you know, this I've got my sequin outfit ready for Christmas, but this is so that you'll be there forever if you follow the process. You have to follow the process. The preparation day, I think, is almost the most important because if, if you rush into this and people do this all the time, I'm going to start tomorrow. Well, you can't start tomorrow. Well, I can't start tomorrow. Ready? I want to do it. I want to do it because you're not prepared mentally. You need to understand because if you've been putting on weight for however many years of your life or you're unhealthy and it's taken you years to get there, do you honestly think overnight you can change your mindset that's got you where you are to the point where you want to change? No. You've got to re-detox. You've got to listen. You've got to learn. You've got to understand. You've got to prepare. You've got to meet a community. You've got to get re- get the health point app on your phone and read and listen and, and get prepared with all of, all of the stuff you need to really make sure this works. If, trust me, the people that prepare properly get results. The people that don't prepare properly will stumble very, very early. So, Mish, can I just ask you, tell us a little bit about, for you, why was that preparation phase so important? What did you do to really ensure you are going to get results with this? Um, watched a lot of the videos and... Um read the information that both that was within the app and also things that Andrew had shared with me and that the first couple of emails that I got. Um, so that probably um, worked for me like the emotional side and the mental side, um, but also and um, it is a big thing for me because I do have um, OCD, but getting myself organised so um you know, I I bought containers specifically for the um well for the protein days, but I also uh, bought containers that uh, I pull could pull out and take with me to the office or wherever I was going to be that day that had the tablets and things in them. Um, so I probably became over prepared, but um, that phase because it sat well with um, the space that I'm in was really important for me. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's probably one time when your OCD has actually been a real benefit to you, Mish, hey? <laughs> it's a good, that is a good stage to, if you're going to show OCD qualities, preparation phase, I reckon it's a pretty good time to do it. Thanks, Mish. Let's jump back into it. Okay, so... Um, the first, the, after the preparation days, we go into into jumpstart days. Now, jumpstart days, and, and this can be challenging for some people because, as you can see, it's protein only, only protein, no carbs, no salads, no fruits. Why why we're we removing carbohydrates and any kind of fruits or vegetables doesn't say, sound right, does it? Seems a bit unhealthy. Well, the reason is this: because your body has got three preferred sources in order of carbohydrate, fat protein where it will get its energy from now obviously if you're eating lots of carbs that's where the body's going to get its energy from which means if you're eating more carbs than you need for energy then you're going to put on weight okay when you remove carbohydrate what it does is your body clicks into the next its next preferred energy source which is fat yay now why three days and three days only and some people go well i want to do five days i want to do a week no 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 don't do that because if you go for more than three days without carbs your body goes into starvation mode and it will start storing fat, and then it will start breaking down your, your muscle to convert it to protein for that. That's not what you want to do, okay? So three days is a, is an awesome. Mish, how many? How much did you lose in the first three days? Do you remember? I was just trying to think that. I think it was like a kilo a day. Okay, so which is cool. And and some people lose a kilo a day, so three kilos in three days. Some people lose more than that. Um, it, but it's a, it's a good way to start because, A, it's not as hard as you think, right, because you're eating snacking regularly, and I'll talk about metabolism and, and how the regularity of snacking. Um, but to see the scales move, it's really a positive way to start the process, and it's a, it's a very healthy way to do it. You can survive easily for three days because there's the supplements and there's a lot of stuff that supports it. But the key of this process is getting your metabolic fire burning the key to this process and why this is so different to the diet mentality and again when i talk to mish again you're going to get this you're going to get this loud and clear because the key to for a five we'll just go back to the image for a sec if you've ever been camping you know 
and and it's cold if you live in melbourne or victoria and you go camping you want to start your fire very quickly if you want to keep a fire burning all day you've got to put fuel on it regularly you've got to put quality fuel on it every 60 to 90 minutes right otherwise you can't leave it five hours and expect it to still be burning and we do that with our body all the time we think well i've had breakfast i don't need to eat for 10 hours but your fire's out if you're hungry way past the point where you need food if you're thirsty it's way 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 past the point where you need to drink water the key to getting your metabolic fire burning is to snack you eat breakfast bang that kick starts the fire you snack with protein-based snacks every meal every 60 to 90 minutes you have healthy lunch you have protein snacks you have a healthy dinner you even have protein snacks all the way leading up to dinner why do you need to add protein with every meal and snack? And I'll tell you why. Because protein slows the release of sugar. Protein gives you that more, that feeling of satiety. Protein, we just don't eat enough of the protein. And as I said earlier, eat before you're hungry, drink before you're thirsty. And on health point, this is what happens. When you diet, right? And again, Michelle is the classic example of dieting mentality because she, how many meals were you eating before you started the program, Mish, per day? Mm, one two maybe one okay two maybe one all right and this is what happened and and i'm just going to quick just stop sharing again just quickly because mish tell me what you said very early in the process about how much food you you were eating when you started the program um it was the end of the first week and i realized that i had eaten more in one day than i would have in three Okay, now, can you just please say that again? And I want you all to listen to this because this is critical. Say that again. So I, it was the end of the first week. I realised that I'd eaten more in one day than I had in three previously. Right. Now, does everyone get that? That's effectively three times more food she's eating and she's losing weight and she's got energy. So what was happening for Michelle was that exact, if I go back to this, uh, go back to this diagram, when you diet, which she was, she wasn't probably deliberate. You weren't deliberately dieting, were you, Mish? But you just weren't eating, which is effectively dieting. This dieting mentality, eat less, and her body was storing fat, storing, 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 storing for long term survival. The second she started eating, snacking regularly, her weight, her body said, "Okay, I don't need to hang on to this anymore. I can get rid of it because there's enough energy coming in," and that is the power of this process. If that's not enough. Uh, evidence for you to never ever 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 diet again i don't know what is um and the way the the, the way this meant the menus um are so beautifully created is it's the right combination of fruits and vegetables and protein and lettuce and what that does is that gives you the most for the next for six, six you know anywhere from one to two hours to give you that stable blood sugar level that keeps your energies level rather than the carbohydrate spike that we get when we skip meals and we go too long without eating okay so then once you've done your four weeks and and you you've got amazing results the key then is to add more food yes you read that correctly add more food now a lot of people resist this period of the program because they think well i'm losing weight i want to keep losing weight so they 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 don't but trust me trust me trust me on this one this is the most uh, i said the preparation stage is the most important this is probably the second most important stage because the weight loss you know, we know losing weight's not that hard. Keeping it off is hard. That's why this is here. Because by gradually adding more food over two weeks, what you do is you create a new normal for your body. Rather than it going, okay, well, I've lost 10 kilos or 50. Oh, that's not normal. I've got to go back. What this does is it makes it normal for your body. Don't ask me the science behind it. Just trust that. Um, that's why Paul's been able to keep weight off for so long for for six years because he's created the new normal for his body okay i'm just going to keep an eye on the time here um how are we going all right so could, supplements are a massive part so the program is mindset clearly community clearly obviously eating the right food the uh, the right schedule of eating every 60 to 90 minutes with protein and the right fruits and vegetables but why do we need to supplement okay why are supplements important well First thing, first thing I want to say is here's a statistic, and this is quite an old one, so it's probably changed. It's probably worse now. It says only 5.1% of Australian adults have an adequate usual daily intake of fruit and veggies. But what it doesn't take into account is 
the actual nutrients in those fruit and vegetables. So even though you might be eating five to eight or six to 10, or I've got no idea what it is now, whatever the recommended daily intake of fruit and vegetables is, no matter, even though you might be eating all the zucchini and the carrots and the cauliflower and the, the apples, what is the nutrient content? So let's just say one in 20 Australians are eating enough. What percentage of those, of those, um, one in 20 are actually eating uh, fruit and vegetable that have got a full complement of nutrients in them. And if they're just eating store-bought or supermarket-bought fruit and vegetables, chances are none of them, okay? Which means because, I mean, this is the reality is 50 years ago, one orange, you now have to eat eight to get the same vitamin C. And you'd have to eat three carrots to get the same nutrients as one carrot 50 years ago and the same with apples. So it's really important that we supplement, okay? Now, the supplements we use to, to support this process is Neutral Way, which is the Australian brand, and the global brand is Neutralite. I just want to play this short video because this is the by far going to explain to you the, the reason why these are, I believe, the best supplements on the market and why these are the thing, the only ones you would, sh would and should be putting into your body. Imagine a world where plants have fingerprints and where a group of scientists have fingerprinted over 1,300 of the world's botanicals to discover their health benefits and where every seed is given a unique birth certificate to track its life from seed to supplement. Imagine a group of scientists who search the globe for the best farms on every continent, except Antarctica. Imagine a farm where nature is used to help nature and where natural pest control is the job of falcons like copper and where farmers understand their plants so well that they know the precise moment to harvest to optimize their nutrients. Imagine a supplement company that uses every part of every plant, extracting essential phytonutrients for your benefit, and using the rest of the plant to revitalize the soil on its farms. Imagine a team of engineers so obsessed with product excellence that they run more than 500,000 quality checks a year on their supplements. Or a team of packaging engineers who run more than 30,000 tests in extreme condition to ensure that your supplements will remain pure, safe, and effective from our door to yours. Imagine a life colored with the power of phytonutrients, nurtured every step of the way, because at Neutralite, we believe to get truly traceable supplements, you need to go behind the label. These are the real people that bring to life a world you don't have to imagine. This is the real world of Neutralite Traceability. Awesome. So I'm going to quickly run through the, the products that we recommend for the program, but you can see even that picture on the screen, this is a close-up of the vitamins, and you can just see what they are is raw plant material compressed into a tablet, right? Organically grown raw plant material. I'm going to show you some graphs shortly why that's of benefit rather than something you can go and buy at the chemist warehouse um, that's 50% off. Trust me, if you're buying supplements 50% off, don't buy them because there's something cheap in them that's only going to do you harm, not good. Okay, please do not put synthetic supplements into your body. They do more harm because your body will reject them. Your body only wants natural. Your body, anything that's not natural, your body is going to try and eliminate. And while it's trying to eliminate those synthetic supplements, it's actually doing harm to your liver and your kidneys. Okay, so on the program, this is these are the prog these are the products we recommend. But these are products not just for health point. These are products forever. You need a multivitamin, double X and or no, not and or daily double x would be the one i would recommend it's just an incredible multivitamin there's three tablets twice a day very potent all the vitamins and minerals daily is good but it's a one a day -er. so it's better if it's more really if you've got budget concerns or or maybe taking lots of tablets is a bit intimidating to start with now omega-3 is a critical one because it's an anti-inflammatory we remember i talked right at the start about the cell and the cellular membrane you put enough omega-3 in your body, you will keep your cell membrane soft and strong so it can utilize and allow nutrients to, to, to transfer through, nourish the cell. This is a key one. Omega-3 is the key that unlocks the cell membrane to allow the nutrients in. So if you're taking your, your double X and you're taking your concentrated fruit and vegetables, which is very high in antioxidant, which helps deal with stress and free radicals, 
then the omega-3 will allow it in. The probiotic is a key one for gut health because all disease and all healing starts in your gut. And if we don't have enough of the right gut bacteria and lots of things affect our gut bacteria, medication and stress and processed foods. So by adding a probiotic is incredibly important. The fiber is needed for the program just to make sure you're doing that thing that you need to do on a regular basis. If you're not going at least once a day to eliminate, then you need fiber for sure. Um, the rhodiola, rhodiola is uh, is a uh, adaptogenic herb that regulates cortisol in the body. Cortisol can be incredibly dangerous. It's a stress hormone. Uh, cortisol needs to be regulated these days. What this does is it helps control your blood sugar levels and your, your blood sugar levels, your blood pressure. It helps stop fat deposits on the stomach. It helps with energy. It's a wonderful, wonderful herbal supplement and the coq10 enzyme is good for your heart it's good for that cellular energy uh and another very strong powerful antioxidant so it looks like a lot it does but you're taking these throughout the course of the day um, and they will make a massive 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 difference i just want to share this with you i mentioned before the difference between a pl organic plant-based supplement and a processed one and the difference is you have a look at that that's double X versus black moors. Those peaks represent phytonutrients that are found in the supplement that are live nutrients that have been transferred from the plant into the supplement. Have a look at the difference. That's black moors. There's Swiss. Well, Swiss is a little bit better, but still, why waste your money? There's Centrum. Get rid of it. Get onto your Nutri. All of the, the supplements will have a very similar, what's called chromatograph, just so you can see. Um, and then you've got the protein, you, you know, to make sure you're getting enough protein, there's amazing protein bars. There's protein powder that you can do, you know, and if you're a vegan, um, there's also there's a whey protein powder, there's a vegan protein powder. There's so many, so many amazing products there to help and support this journey. Supplements, as the name describes, is a supplement to good eating, not a replacement of. Okay. So people go, oh, if I take fruit and vegetables, I don't need to eat fruit and vegetables. No, that's not what that means at all. This is a supplement too. Now, it's just a quick one. Tell us for you, and, and I know it's hard when there's all these great things happening. What, what would you say that supplements, how, the impact they had for you on the process? Um, I think the biggest thing for me, and I did um, forget to take them with me the other day, so it was quite noticeable, is... Um, is that sustenance, that maintaining and being able to maintain that energy and concentration through the day. And um, I said before that I have OCD and when I went away with Andrew earlier this year, um, I wasn't able to take my medication with me. And so when I came back, I decided that, um, that I'd give it a go without. And it was tough and it was really tough, um, but... Since taking these, um, I think I've been able to maintain my concentration and focus and not let those uh, little things in my head tell me that I needed to have all my pens in a line and that sort of thing. So, yeah, it's been amazing for me. But you're not taking medication. Have you, you have stopped? You haven't, so you're not taking medication at all now? No. Wow. I mean, again, you know, weight loss is just great. Yeah, isn't it awesome that she's lost so much weight? Isn't that awesome? But the fact now that that every part of her life is better, the energy is better, the fact that now she's off medication, which is just, as we know, medication has got a place and does a job, but it's destroying our gut health. It's destroying parts of our well, well-being. It's certainly destroying our ability to be in control of our health and well-being. So, and, and awesome, Mish, for you, but what a testament to these products, yeah, don't you think? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Mish. All right, back in. All righty, we're doing good here. We're doing good. I think the other thing, you know, I talked about cellular health um, is, and a big part of that is the water we drink and the air that we breathe. And and I just want to encourage everyone, if you're not doing this, do it. You know, you think about how much water you drink and how much air you breathe, and you breathe a lot. Because, and if you don't, if you don't believe me, just hold your breath for three minutes, and we'll then we'll have a conversation. You breathe every. You don't stop breathing. The question I would ask you in your home, particularly because it's hard to control the air outside, what are you breathing? What's in the air in your home, in your bedroom, that you where you sleep for seven or eight hours a night? What are you breathing in and what impact is it having on your health, on your cells, 
on your inflammation. What about the water? Have a look at that middle uh, image there. That dirty brown one is Melbourne tap water. And Melbourne's the cleanest water in the world. Have you ever heard that? What a lot of rubbish. Honestly, you don't need that in your system. That's toxic. Purify your water, purify your air. And if, you, if you're not already doing it, talk to the person that invited you tonight. Say, how do I get an air and a water purifier? Or at least trial it. Give it a go. See how you think. It's so, so, so important. And then, um, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Once you've finished the cycle, you, um, you know, hopefully you've created habits. The goal of HealthBond is not for you to be necessarily at your desired weight in one cycle or your desired health outcome it's to get you into the right rhythm into the right habits into the right mindset i will always recommend at least two cycles of health point to really reinforce it so i would always suggest even if you sort of feel like yeah my my weight's good right now go back and do another cycle because that'll lock it in forever forever is always a great thing to do so in terms of exercise um the i guess the other parts of health point are steps now i've put ten thousand steps a day but i think that's been superseded hasn't it i think we're now moving up towards fifteen thousand steps a day that's the basic if you want to do more if you've got a pt if you want to do some strength training which i certainly recommend but the minimum is do at least ten thousand steps a day if you're doing that set a goal push yourself a little bit that's a mindset and once you set a goal for steps don't go to bed until you've done it and even if even if that means jogging on the spot in your bedroom, which I have done many, many, many nights. You know, I'm not there yet. I need to jog on the spot before I get into bed or go for a walk or, or walk up and down your corridor or do something. Do not let yourself off the hook because if you let yourself off the hook with this, there's more likelihood you might skip breakfast or you might miss your vitamins or you might not listen to something. And one of the things Mish said at the start was she listened to the audios and watched the videos and that and throughout that's a big, big, big part of this process is is staying connected listening reading every day every day every day because if you don't change the way you think you'll go back to the way you were if you don't change the way you think you'll go back to the way you were i just i hope you got that because people go oh, yeah good i'm finished now and i'm stopped taking the vitamins and i'm stopped listening and before they know it, they're back to the way they were and they said well that program doesn't work yeah it does it works to the point where you do these things until they become habitual the only way you'll create permanent change is creating new neural pathways in the brain. That's strong unconscious routines or habits. And this process and your accountability partner, you will have a coach. There's someone here tonight that's invited you that wants to do this with you, wants to partner with you every single day, be an accountability partner, be be your greatest fan club, be, be your, your cheerleader to help you get results. Because there's always a ripple effect. There's always, always, always a ripple effect because not just your life that's changing. And I want to ask Mish this last question, get it to, to there's a couple of things, Mish. I want when we talk about ripple effect, who have you who have you seen that's noticed the changes you've made? And who do you who have you seen that maybe has benefited? But I also then want to know from you, what are some of the other benefits you've had that I mean the 20 kilos in six weeks is incredible, clearly. Off medication is amazing. What are some of the other benefits you've experienced through this journey? I got to go shopping. Um, New clothes? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been like, as I said before, the energy, the sustenance through the day, I'm not getting that four o'clock dip um, where I, I could just lie down and go to sleep. Um, and... Like I'm very, 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 very busy, productive, busy, but um, I I added up the other day that I've seen 317 women since we come back from Bali um, at the end of July. Um, so that just gives a bit of an idea of how busy I am each day and through the night. But I've just found that I no longer at night have that late night craving and want to, you know, have chocolate or something like that before I go to bed. I don't even think about sugar um, to the point where I was given a, a box of chocolates and I just handed them away to someone else because it just doesn't have that mental effect on me anymore. Like I don't have that fixation anymore on the food. Um, and, yeah, so the stamina, 
the energy and just being able to get through the day every day without feeling super exhausted and kind of dragging myself around. Um, in terms of people that have noticed, um, the people that I was that I am with day to day to day uh, po- probably didn't notice as much as others but um you know ones that I hadn't seen for a few weeks uh when I saw them they're like you know what the hell that has has happened I, it's only been a few weeks and um probably one of my closest friends who um was in hospital and um I wasn't able to go and see her um I went to see her just a couple of days ago and I'm actually um bridesmaid at her wedding which was I guess a little bit of my inspiration, but um, I'm bridesmaid at her wedding next November and um, she's just gone, oh, my God, you did that so much quicker. So, yeah. 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 Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Mish, for that. That's wonderful. Okay. okay. And just finishing just finishing off, guys, next steps. If you're – I hope you're inspired. I really do. I mean, who, who wouldn't be inspired by that lady? Um and the process and the program. And, and I just want to encourage you right now to get back with the person who invited you and say, please help me. What, what do I need to do? I want to do a cycle. I want to do a cycle of health point between now and Christmas. What a better time, not because it's between now and Christmas, because it's now and now's the only time you've got. Get started. You can start listening to stuff tonight. It's the person who invited you can get you an account, get you on the on mobile app or just send you some stuff. And just want to throw this out. And this is only just over a week away now. As you can see, 3rd to the 5th of November, actually 4th and the 5th is the is the general session. If you're in Sydney or if you're happy to jump on a plane and go to Sydney, then I want to really strongly recommend going to this conference for a couple of days to be inspired, to be around the people that you really need to be around, to strengthen your DNA, to learn, to find out more about health and well-being and, and but, but about business and money and life and relationships amazing amazing event which i want to encourage you to find out about if you'd like to and then really just get about living your best life mm. i've got it over i apologize for that but i think it was worth it i think to have the input from michelle and to hear from her after what she's done and you know the next time we see mish hopefully she was done another cycle so she'll be at her, her goal weight and she'll be able to you know maybe show you her new bikini and do a bit of a spin and a model. No, she said a big fat no to that. Um, But anyway, guys, now is the time. Not after Christmas, not when you feel better, not when the weather's better. Now's the time. Please, please, for your sake, for the sake of the people that you love and care about, for the sake of your Amway business, your Network 21 business, for the sake of helping people, for the sake of living your best life, do it now start on the program start on the process and live your best life and have an awesome night thanks for being here and mesh thank you so much for sharing you are amazing thanks everyone bye